Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. In today's session, we'll discuss about uh, one more concept in DBMS that is what is an entity, entity type and types of entity types and the entity set. So the first one is what is entity? An entity is a real world object which is having some properties or a characteristics. So real world object. having characteristics right so the entity can be identified or entity it can be having the properties or characteristics here we are having two types of entities one is tangible entity So tangible entity means the entities which are existence physically are called as a tangible entities. So these are the entities which exist physically. Physically. So example, so we can say some person. So person is an entity. So which can be having a different characteristics like the name, okay, the address contact number etc etc and similarly some car okay car is also a physical entity so that's why we we call it as a tangible entity and the second category which is a intangible entity intangible entity so this is quite opposite to this uh, tangible entity so these entities which exist logically logical so example example a bank account bank account is a tangible entity that exists logically okay it is also having some properties like a loan uh, i mean uh, account number atm pin so etc etc will be ifsc code so all these are the attributes of this particular bank account so but this is the entity which exists logically so there will be no physical existence for this type of entities so this this we call it as an intangible entity intangible entity so an entity is a real world object which has the properties or a characteristics now what is meant by entity set entity set so this is nothing but a group of entities a group of entities having same attributes same attributes so a group of entities which share, which is which are having the same attributes so and all the rows or all the tuples or all the records of a table comes under this entity set Okay, all the records comes under this entity set and the complete entity set will be represented with a name called entity type. So the next one is entity type. So and representing entity set. with a name called entity type okay so the group of entities should be represented with some name but we call it as an entity type and this entity type is also divided into two categories one is a strong entity type and the weak entity type see i'll write here entity type so one is a strong entity type and this strong entity type means 
so if the entity type having a key attribute then we call it as a strong entity type so what is a key attribute so key attribute is a unique attribute to identify the records uniquely okay so in order to identify the records uniquely we require some attribute that attribute we call it as a key attribute so if the entity type having such key attributes we can simply say that entity type as a strong entity type so if if this entity type doesn't have the key attribute then we call it as a weak entity type right see strong entity type so entity type having key attribute so we know that attributes are the columns of a table right in rdbms the data will be uh, uh, i mean represented with the rows and columns and rows we call as a tuples or records and a columns we call it as a attributes so entity type which have having this key attribute is called as a strong entity type that means key attribute means the unique identifier of any row unique identifier of any row so for example for example so in a student table in a student table we will be having a lot of records uh, related to the students and if you want to identify a particular student so there is an unique identifier called a roll number so by using the roll number we can identify the records of a student because one roll number cannot be shared among a different students right so it is an unique identifier so such type of key attributes so we call this roll number as a key attribute because by using this attribute we can identify the records uniquely without any duplications and coming to the next one that is a weak entity type weak entity type so in this type the entity type doesn't have entity type doesn't have key attribute key attribute right so the entity type which doesn't have this key attribute that means to uniquely identify the records the such type of entity we call it as a weak entity so this will take help of strong entity to identify the rows or a records okay this will make use of this strong entity so these are the two different entity types okay so we have seen what is an entity what is an entity set another one entity type and different types of entity types so hope you understood this one so we'll see one example and we'll close the session so consider a table a student table okay consider a student table so with a roll number name branch college so i am taking this one as a table i am having this table I am having this table and this table name is student student right so here I am having the records so this we call it as a records so 101 102 103 104 names Sandeep Saradi, Satik, some Harish. So these are the names of a students and branch. Let us take some CSE, some ECE, some Triple E, Civic. 
and the college let it be some abc college is also abc college abc college and abc college so all the four students belongs to the same college so these are the roll numbers name of the student branch and college so this is a table it's a student table and this one see 101 sandeep csc abc so this is an entity entity one because entity is a real world object which are which are having some characteristics so this is one entity okay which are having some characteristics and this one is another entity this one another entity so this one another entity entity 3 and this one entity 4 right so individual rows we can consider them as a entities individual entities and all these combinedly call as a entity set so entity set is a group of entities which having the same attributes so all these four rows are having the same attributes right so all these four students should have the same properties so that's why we call this as a entity set entity set is a group of entities group of entities which shares the same properties and the set, entity set representing with a name entity set representing with a name is called as a entity type so this one is a entity type entity type okay this one is an entity type so this one is an entity type and if this entity type is having the key attribute then this entity type we call it as a strong entity type so here we are having the roll number which can easily and uniquely identify the students so that's why this is a strong entity type strong entity type okay let us take one more example let us take some address address of a students okay so here i will take name of a student okay some location some state okay so this is a one more table let us take this table address table and now you can see let us take the same names sandeep saradi satvik and harish right so these are the names of a student okay these are the names of a student and here the location let it be some abc def abc and some def and the state is also some xyz 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 m n a so these are some states okay this is some table right so here here for example let us take uh, the student name one more student name like uh, sandeep right so this is a one student location abc another student location def both are different student but having the same name so this is one table address table right so here you can see all these are the entities all these are the entities and all together we call it as a entity set and the entity set sharing the name representing a name called as a entity type so this is an entity type here entity type now see is there any key attribute for this particular entity type so key attribute means unique identifier of a record so here we are we doesn't have any unique identifier of any record right because 
so multiple students can have the same name so we can't identify a student with a name so multiple student located in the same location so it is not not a unique identifier multiple students can be of same state so this is also not an unique identifier so so here in this entity type there is no key attribute so there is no key attribute which will find the identifier i mean which will find the records uniquely so such a type of entity type we call it as a weak entity type weak entity type. weak entity type right so this is how we can we have to identify the entities entity set strong entity and the weak entity right so hope you understood this about the entities so what is an entity what is an entity set what is an entity type and what are the different types of entity type that means a strong entity type and a weak entity type so how many ways how, what are the different uh, types of entities that means a tangible and intangible entities right so let's stop here and if you are having any doubts regarding this entity entity set or entity types feel free to post your doubts in the comment section definitely i will try to clarify all your doubts if you really enjoyed my session like my session share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel thanks for watching thank you very much